Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an equation with two variables. We have a plus b to the third power equals a cubed plus b cubed. And we're going to be solving for a and b. Let's see how we can solve this in two different ways. First of all, I can go ahead and factor the right hand side, which is a sum of two squares, right? So I can factor it and then put everything on the same side. Now a plus b is a common factor, let's go ahead and take it out. When I take a plus b, it should be a plus b squared minus this. Now when you subtract these two things, you're going to get a squared plus b squared is going to cancel out, and we're going to get a 2ab plus ab, which is 3ab. And then from here, we can divide both sides by 3. And this gives us two things. Either a plus b is 0 or ab is 0. If a plus b is 0, we can write this in different ways, like b equals negative a or a equals negative b. We could also write this as an ordered pair, a comma negative a. So two numbers that are opposites will actually work. Or we can write this as a equals 0 or b equals 0. It doesn't have to be both, but either one, if either one is 0, then it's going to work. Make sense? So we get these solutions, and obviously there are infinitely many solutions because when a is 0, b can be anything. So you can have 0, comma b as a general solution, or you can have a, comma 0. Make sense? So you can basically write all these solutions as ordered pairs in terms of one uh, of the variables. So now there's another way to approach this problem, obviously. Let's rewrite it. Remember our formula, the identity that we used for uh, cubes? That was what was the formula? a cubed plus b cubed plus 3ab times a plus b. Or you can just use the binomial theorem. If you're not familiar with this identity, that's fine. You just need to factor a little bit. a cubed plus b cubed cancel out. And we end up with the same thing. Divide by 3, you're going to get ab times a plus b equals 0, which gives us the exact same solutions. Okay, so the problem is we can express these solutions in terms of, in terms of a and b, but when it comes to graphing these on Desmos, we run into a problem. And that problem is Desmos does not recognize implicit equations of x and y. So, I'm sorry, it only supports x and y, so you can't graph these using a and b. You must use x and y. That's the only limitation when it comes to graphing. I don't know how GeoGebra does or any other tool, but this is pretty much what it is. Same thing. We get y equals negative x. This is one of the solutions. x equals 0 or y equals 0 is another solution. Okay? And as you can see, y equals negative x is a line with a negative 1 slope, which is kind of like the diagonal. And x equals 0 or y equals 0 represent the x-axis and the y-axis together. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.